Dear God, I love you. Not the kind of love a man has for a woman, but more than that David had for Jonathan. A love that even my own mind can never fathom. It's just brain busting. Still beats me to understand how you knew exactly the trauma and pain and agony that laid ahead. But you still chose me instead. Just one look. And you concluded I was worth it. How? Did you really not pause? Pause for a second to think that I could possibly never love you back? I could hear your name and not care about who you are or what you did. Yet you went ahead. Even in a gazillion years, I would never choose to die such a reckless death for a person whose love for me I'm unsure of. So when I say I love you, it's simply because you are you with a capital Y. The one whose heart chose to go ahead with a reckless plan just to save my life. You're just too beautiful. You are my sweetest person. I genuinely cannot think of the word love and not think of you first because you define my love. Sometimes I feel it's your garden for me. And some other times it's your level of intentionality towards me. From my physical appearances down to my thoughts and feelings. <laughs> I know it was you the other day who sent those humans to cheer me up because nobody else knew. Nobody knew how I felt except you. I did the clean your tears in the secret and show up smiling game perfectly well. So it could take only a person on my inside to truly tell that I lied when I said I was okay. I could go on and on and still my words will never measure up or quantify this feeling. For something that cannot be fathomed has no measure and that is your love for me. I love you for just being present consistently in my sorrows and pains, my moments of joy and peace, for always reminding me that I don't have to be perfect. I just need to let you wrap your arms around my imperfections. Life is a picture perfect with you, and now every single thing else has become new. It does feel wonderful. Just me and you is the breathtaking moments that exist in my collection of emotions. You really are my only selection, always and forever. Your baby girl, Kate.